Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another uh, Red Dead video. After uh, the uh, nice ending of the last episode, I decided to come back with part two today. So uh, hopefully you folks get to see on the day that I recorded it. But uh, welcome back to the life of a railroader. Today we've got Security Joey. And uh, let's see what we can do today. When are we leaving? Nine minutes. Nine minutes. All right. Also, who the fuck just broke a window? What? Who just broke a window? I didn't hear a window break. I did. Big time. What window broke? Hold up. Oh, found it. <laughs> Did you That's jump not, through the window? That's not broken. It is broken. That's not broken. Do you want to see what I see on my screen? Hold up. Hold up, let me get my lantern out so you can see it. You want me to break it? No, 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 stop, stop. Move for a second. Nope, hold up. Our DMs. Look how the cross ties are broken in the glass. Yeah, it doesn't show that for me. Damn. All right. Let's, go, let's find that. If it doesn't show it for you, it doesn't show it for anybody else, so they won't know. I'm gonna go in town and ask if anyone's gonna want to go on the train because it's departing soon. It's nine minutes to, or. Eight minutes till we have time. By the way, this is the uh, this is the outfit that I that I made for the new train show. security. Yeah. All right, all right. You're gonna be up in the cab with me today. Up in the cab. Yeah. Okay, I might just go back and check every once in a while. Every once in a while, you're allowed to, but like, I just don't want to get murdered. Yeah. Plus, Tobias said that it was kind of mandatory that. You guys just started sitting in the cab more often. I'm gonna go into the train station.
After enjoying our wonderful meal, we met up with the attendees of Woody Harrison's Atlanta Rail Fest. An annual tradition for over 25 years, this weekend-long event involves a guided train-watching tour and a renowned Saturday slideshow where friends and strangers gather to show off their best railroad photography. When the news broke that CSXT 6914 had been vandalized with the nose dressed for Chessie system two days prior, it was decided that the group would spend the day chasing the GP40-2, leading a local freight train from Cartersville to Cedartown. Just after 8 a.m., the train crew boarded the locomotive after filling out their paperwork at the Cartersville yard office. The train ran as symbol L810, which runs daily and works several industries along the Cartersville subdivision on its way to Rock Mart and back. Sometimes it runs all the way to the end of the line at Cedartown, but only as needed. So on top of the unique homemade paint scheme, this was a rare mileage run on its own. At the north end of Cartersville Yard, we watched as the locomotives shoved down the W and A Y in order to enter and work North Yard on the Etowah Sub. Although 6914 isn't the first CSX locomotive to wear the Chessie Cat, it's the first to feature the nose completely repainted. To the delight of many rail fans, the EMD is a much better looking alternative to the actual Chessie Heritage Unit, an ES44 Jivo that looks like a standard CSX locomotive head on. Instead of going with graphic designer Tyler Hardin's artwork, the artist behind the current OCS scheme, Veterans, Police, and First Responders locomotives, CSX chose to go with their own designs for the Heritage Fleet, drawing much criticism. The crew of L810 ended up switching at North Yard for about four hours prior to their departure, so we decided to move to the nearby Wyvern Yard, where the Anheuser-Busch local had just gone on duty. Wyvern Yard was built in 1992 to accommodate the brewer's business. Over the years, the yard has also been used by Etowah sub trains, which set off and pick up local freight from Cartersville. Sure. Alrighty, sure. Go ahead and wait out by the train platform. Okay. Joey, did you come back? What was that? Joey, did you come back? Uh, I'm right here. Alright, dude, the fucking. The uh, the guy that I hired for um, security, this guy is obsessed with mining coal. They just yeah. emptied out the uh, the shop, and there is 200 now. Oh, wow. Man emptied out Why? his entire horse. Why don't you just pay him to get coal? We are. We're paying him $3.50 every time. Blacksmith sell coal down there. Yeah, they don't sell it for as much. We sell it for a lot, for a little more. How many customers do we have for the train? I think two. Hey, Joey, can I talk to you for a second in the train office? Yeah, what's up? Come here. What's Whisper up? for a second. But, um, I think there's a guy in the white shirt out there. Do you know the one guy that we black 
listed from the railroad. Really dirty, all white with the glasses and shit. Yeah. Is that the guy that we banned off? No. Okay, just making sure. It's humiliated. Stop looking. Thank you. Are you guys uh, getting tickets? Yes, how much? Uh, Ten dollars. Go, go in there. Yeah, uh, e you can either pay me tickets. $10 directly, my name is John West, or you can go with the authentic choice and go buy it from the shop. Or you can get uh, do $25 for the VIP treatment. Which is in the back with uh, extra food and water. Then I gave me $10. Alright, I got that. Thanks, man. What's your names? Just just in case. I'm um, Pablo. I'm Pablo. Alright. Okay. Alrighty, folks. One minute till departure. One minute till departure. Or actually, no. Now. So if you have any tickets to hand in, please hand them in now and we will be departing soon. Thank you for that train ticket. If you want to just pass me that one. Is that you? Uh, who did you give it to? John West. Yeah, that's me. Hold up, but I don't know if I got it. Is it still in your, uh, in your, uh, satchel? Oh, oh wait. Is it? Or did you yeah, drop yeah, yeah, yeah. it? I just, I just, wait, wait, give me a second. Yeah. Is it still in your satchel? I'm not receiving. Oh, nope, there it is. I you dropped, dropped it. it. Yeah, I couldn't give it because I just dropped it. Ah, nope. Come on. There. Picked up a train ticket. Alright. security though all right all aboard Sir, what can I do for you? Yeah, how you doing? Sir? Good, yourself? Yeah, I'm doing great. great. Yeah, yeah, good to hear. We always need business around here. Um. Yeah. Um. Um. Do you have any special requests for Van Horn or Ansberg or anything above that? Because if you do, we have to go the top route. But if you don't, or anybody else doesn't have to go there, we don't have to do that. Uh, I mean, I Sorry? Uh, I would like to go up to Ansberg. It's a little bit beautiful. Oh, no, I can take you up to Ansberg. That's fine. All in a ticket payment. I just have to go make sure that we don't have anybody at all. anybody else going up to Ansberg. Probably just go tell my security to see if everybody, if anybody else has to go.
Uh, what? Are, how many people want to go? Oh, all right. Well, I'll make the stops anyway because of protocol. But I'll make a note that we have to go see Ink. Yeah, sorry about that. But uh, some of the yeah, um, we've recently been uh, yelled at from uh, some of the higher ups, you might say. What from Tadius? Oh, no, not Thaddeus, Ella. Same what? Uh, saying nobody can ride on the tender anymore, in, except if it's security. Since it's unrealistic, they keep saying that, but you'd expect a little different. But, um, they're saying it's unrealistic, and we've started to get, um, you know, kind of, uh, they're kind of starting to get strict with us. We used to back our trains up from Valentine all the way to the oil field when we uh, won't use them anymore since that's where um, our yard workers will take them away. But um, we're not allowed to do that anymore since uh, Ella said that you can't. It's unrealistic that you're going to be going backwards that much. So. Alrighty. Three minutes. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go and check the shop, I'll be back. Alright. I'm gonna be out of my head here for a second. Alright, sorry, I was out of my head for a second. Call my horse for a second. Did you get my binoculars? Alright, sorry about that, Joey. I was just uh, putting away all the train tickets in a safe place, grabbing my binoculars so I could uh, check track ahead of us before we leave. Okay. Just like those guys that tried to put a stagecoach in front of the train full of oil so it'd explode, yeah. but... I heard about I heard about the gang did that, yeah. Yeah, some two guys supposedly robbed me of my birdie that could call the sheriff and the medic. Absolute huh. bullshit. They can't do that. I don't know why they assume they could, but... I don't know if one of them was a past friend from a past county, but... 
So, we have to get going. We've got a minute till departure. Alright. Are you staying again, sir? Yeah, he just went to look at the shops for a second. He's allowed well, to give up on. Are you doing a full round trip? Oh, uh, yeah. Nice. Just a little shopping trip here and there. I'm gonna quickly ask uh, something. Do you know what? Pablo went? Pablo. No, uh, the, uh, the other doctor. There was another doctor on here? Oh, yeah, that guy. Let's see. Uh, sir? Yeah? Uh, can I have you move to the front coach since your ticket was only oh, valid for the front coach? Yeah. Uh, did you see where the other doctor w the doctor went? The Pablo guy? I don't know. Oh, did he get off the train? Did he get off? Did he? S he said that he wanted to have a full trip, didn't he? He said that he yeah. wanted a round trip, didn't he? He was with me. Okay. Uh, if you want to send him a bird, I can uh, delay us a little bit if you don't mind. If you quickly want to send him a bird, I'll put a message in the sky that we're um, going to be a little late. He's not answering, so you can just head off, I guess. Is everything good? I can wait another three minutes. But I can't pull the schedule out that much. No, it's alright. You can head off. I'm going to get off here. Thank you. Oh, Alrighty thank then. You the tip. Split that between. Uh, oh, shit. I... Do you know where Pablo is? I'm looking for him. Oh, um, well, I've just realized I spent all my money, but I can give you fucking some stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, for the ride. Do you know where Pablo is? Do you, like, get, like, jump off? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna get off and you can head off. No, don't. Anyway, right. th thank you. Thank you, sir, for riding. I gotta go, so just finish uh, this last part with me, without me. I'm just gonna stay, like, be AFK. Oh, wait, wait, what are you, what, what, what's happening? I, I gotta go for it. I'm just gonna AFK, okay? How long? I, not very long. Alright. Be right back. Uh, sorry, you're the one that still needs to do it at Ansberg, correct? Yeah, Ansberg. Alright, just making sure.
Sorry about that, my throttle decided to jump on me. Uh oh. There it is. trying to get, uh, trying to remember one of the songs, uh, that I was gonna maybe do something on this. Oh, shoot! I missed the switch!
plane. All right, good plane. I'm trained since uh, uh, your security is gone. Sorry. Can I help? Uh, like, uh, secure the train. So your security is gone. If you want to sit up here for a little bit, I can let you. As soon as security comes back, you can go back to being a passenger. But while we go from here to Ansburg, it should be okay for you to be uh, security. No, I'll just walk around the cabins. Just, uh... just make sure that you're not walking around too much. I've had people just get thrown out of existence. Okay. Are you ready to go now? Uh, two minutes. Two minutes, okay. Uh, back of the train, somebody's on the- Yeah, I got it, got it, got it. Sir! You know what? No, I'll put it away. Hey, put your hands up, right now. Yeah, hey, get back here. Sir? Are you okay? <laughs> the fuck? Where'd my train security go? The fuck? Hansburg's so big, I wouldn't find him in a million years. Well, departing time. No. Um. Uh, these, 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 these. I'm so what? Y you want me to go? I'll take him to the front until. No, no, yeah, no. Take like him to the front. I just wanna. Yeah. Uh, did that guy put him on the train? 
I don't know. He's like sleeping. Dude, what this? What is this guy on? I saw him jump down the ladder into the water and say to D. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, go ahead and quickly. Who beat my pants? Okay, sir. It's okay, sir. We're just gonna take you to front here. Since uh, you for some reason got carried onto the train by uh, I'm assuming a friend of yours. Do you wanna? Well, that's disgusting, oh, oh. dude. Chill out. Who shit my pants? Bro. <laughs> You wanna buy a ticket to, you know, give me a hog tie the entire way? I, I meant to get one. Uh, oh, my friend yeah, gave me one, he said. Yeah, your friend put you on the top of the train and he left. He said his friend gave no. him one, so I'll just drop he, him off at the front here. He, yeah. he said he paid for my ticket and put it in the lock in one of the boxes. Oh, oh. okay. Well, now I have to Hello. explain this, this to the This guy was sleeping on top. Dude, so uh, we I, had... I, 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 Joey, let me fill you in. So we had this one guy, as soon as we're about to leave, like, sort of hobo style, like, jump on the top of the caboose, drop this guy on the, on top of the caboose, man yeah. pees himself, then sh 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 himself, <laughs> oh. saying that, um, his, uh, his partner already paid for his, uh, ticket, but, uh, I have not gotten any change into my bank account. Where'd the other guys go? I don't know. He jumped uh, he, into the water said, in the St. Denis dock. He, he probably... Okay, well, this is interesting. Well, uh, I'll pay, I'll pay for his ticket when we get to Ionisberg. Alright, I'm okay with that. Uh, can okay. I go back to sleeping back then with me coming to boots? Uh, if you want to just sit in one of the chairs, you can sleep here, but, uh... I got a piss. Uh, go into the station and do it. Not on the train. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna look away. Dude, the janitor's job is gonna be ten times harder. No, stop, no. Good. We don't need any piss on this train. The janitors are gonna have a hard time. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> I got him. Don't worry. I'll just hog time for the rest. Oh. Uh... alert the law, but I think we're just gonna take it back to Valentine. Okay, so, I was thinking about it, if we should, um, <coughs> abort him to the sheriff, but maybe the sheriff are gonna get angry for us because we actually kept him on the train. But it was kind of like the classic scene on a TV show where they like leave a child on your doorstep. Like, what? What am I even saying? What I'm trying to say is like, who the fu- <sighs> <coughs> <coughs> Man. What's up?
Dude, Joey, what happened? Joey. Wake up. Joey. Wake up. Up. Why is there a gun to my face? Stop it right now. Okay. Now. Okay. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Nope. Nope. Stay. You guys know it's a bannable offense if you try to steal the train. Why would we try to steal a train? I'm too slow. You guys are in the cabin. It is a bannable offense. No, it's not. It is. The train's not moving. And if it starts moving, I'll get fucking Ella down here. Sir, I don't know who Ella is. <sighs> Swear to fucking God. At least go put me over there with my security, for sake. For crying out loud. Stay here, sir, you stinky poopy head. I'm taking this one. Help. Help, please. Here, you want to kidnap the, the engineer or the security guard? Let's take, take one of them. Let's not take the engineer. He looks kind of dirty. Let's take the security guard so he doesn't have the fence on his way back. I'm going to take him. It's all my money, dude. Bella. Be lucky, driver. Be be lucky. John! John! Remember the name Lamar. I'm putting that. Remember the name Joe Biden. This is going to be a very, very long day.
fish. No man is gonna steal my train crew. Not my train crew. Not mine at all. That's it. See ya, bitches. Take anything too important. They took my fucking tacos. They took my rifle ammo. Shit. Dude, these guys knew what they were fucking doing. Okay. They've messed with the wrong train crew. This is an emergency. Alright, fuck it. I'm going 20. Tobias is probably gonna kill me. And any of the admins see me going this fast. I'm but, you know? There, when there's an emergency, there's an emergency. And right now, it's pretty straight, so I don't think they'll yell at me for going on a straight track very fast, but... I'm gonna get to that, but... Thank God they left me! And the train. Stupid. Alright, this is gonna be a long-ass movie, but, uh... Today... We have gotten absolutely robbed of at least 140 bucks. Probably 141 to be exact. There are no sheriff online. How timely was that? I swear, they must have done something to the sheriff. What else did they take from me? I didn't even have train churros on me. Help? What do you mean? I can't help you. Problem, ladies and gentlemen, there are no sheriff online. My passenger that was half security member and my first ever security member just got absolutely fucking kidnapped and our train got vandalized in the words of shit and pissed. So ladies and gentlemen, I think we have to fix this. And fuck it, I'm gonna say it again. How fucking timely is it that both of these guys Both of these guys robbed me exactly when there are no sheriff on but Can somebody answer my question? Like, who the fuck? Nobody can hop on the train since I'm going so fast, but... Fucking hell. What do I do? No sheriff online. I think I have two other friends that are in county that can help me. I might actually have to call either Mass... Or, uh, Billy, to get in here now. Maybe Tobias can help, but he's been waiting for something to come out for, like, eight months. So I don't think he's gonna want to be in Awaken County, but... You better goddamn believe 
then if I have to save my fucking co-workers, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I swear to fucking God. Sorry, I'm swearing a lot. I'm just really frustrated at the fact where no sheriff was on. Rusty, you can't let me down now. Oh, we went on a train ride. Um, hello, lady. Uh, can I just quickly ask a question? Does anybody know if there's any uh, available sheriff? Uh, I think no. any are awake. Okay, well, my train was just minute. compromised between Ansburg and Saint Denis. My security members and my passengers have been uh kidnapped and are now somewhere between that area. Oh, shit. So... Uh, how many security members did you have? Yeah. I had one security off, member Dave. and one passenger, and for some reason we had somebody, like, hitchhike and start kind of, like, vandalizing the train in smelly quantities. So, um... Then, uh, they both got on, started, uh... I would stop the train. Uh, they hogtied us all. Stole most of the things that we had. Not all the guns, thankfully, but most of the things that we had. They probably stole maybe three hundred or four hundred dollars in total from everyone. I don't know. I think my uh, other security members and passengers had more cash on them, but we got compromised right about uh, between Van Horn and the end of the swamp. So they took them and left you. Yep. I managed, I had my knife on me, they didn't take that, so I was able to uh, get out of the uh, hog tie pretty easily, and uh, I was able to get on the fastest track here, and uh, I made it back safely, but now I don't know what to do. Uh, do you have descriptions of them? Yeah, I, I think I do. Do um, you have a PO for your security? Your uh, my security's PO. Um... Do you have the names of your passenger security? Uh, my security was named Joey something. Man, I can't remember his full name. Joey something. This The passenger, he didn't say his name since he was just an associate. He tried, uh, our, um, security had to go out of his head for a second, so, uh... uh what about Max? Max, he's not... Is, I don't, is he in county? I don't know. He was the guy with you, right? No, it was Joey. Joey was my security member, oh. and then we had two doctors, Gertie and one of his friends, I think. Uh, no. No, no. you didn't. No. Who did I have? I had two doctors on my train that got off at Rhodes and saved themselves from getting absolutely robbed. Me and Pablo. Me and Pablo, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's say I did not get on the train. Alright, my bad. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Pablo's head popped, so I told... The train guys to leave, so I'd wait for Pebble. Um. Uh, the description of the first guy, kind of like the gang leader, and he's like little sidekick. So the gang leader was a uh, red bandana, uh, black, uh, full cowboy outfit. Uh, I think he might have had goggles on. Uh, 
very like black outfit. Um, when do you guys want to come with me? I'm going with you. Where are you going? Yeah, uh, Emerald Station. Station. I'll come with you too. Uh, station? You know. Um, that ain't gonna work, Thaddeus. <laughs> Why don't you ride with Dave? Why is everybody going to Emerald so mm. fast? Because it's close. And it's got okay. a call. Somebody got a call there. It, it's by a train station thing. Oh shit! Sorry. All right. All right. Oh shit. Billy doesn't want to get pinged. Well, shit. What do I do? There's a call at Emerald Station. supposed to do am I supposed to wait for the four doctors to go and come back <coughs> what is it sorry if I'm coughing a little bit I'm a little sick just this out but uh, what the what I have to go find my I have to go get some more cash we have to go do a couple things in town but while we go into town, we have to think about what we're gonna do to get my county or my uh, passengers uh, Joey back actually. Did they take? Did they t No. I think they just took food. Why food? They didn't take the train key. What? Why didn't they take any of the good stuff from my inventory?
going? Wait to see you. I'm I surprised that you're alive. Yeah, I escaped. How? They they killed the other guy. Which guy? The one in the yellow bandana or the red one? Whatever guy was taken with me. Oh, they killed him? Yeah, they killed him. No. I think the. I think he dumped him. I I think they killed him anyway. I heard some gunshots as they were letting me go. Oh no. I heard, I saw. Were you there? Were you anywhere near Emerald Station? Yeah, they let me out there. I think. Yeah, no. Four doctors had a call there. I know. So um, I think that he's gonna be okay. But holy fucking shit. We gotta you know have more security at this point. How did you get trampled? It was two on two. No, no, no. There was a, another guy on the train. He came from behind. There was three? There was two people. One of the guys had a lasso. Yeah, I know. And, and both he was in... talking. No, he was talking with him. And he, <coughs> and he lassoed the one person. I asked, And I was. I just turned around because I yep. was on the roof. And then another guy came from behind and tackled me and put a lasso on me. They were hiding on the train. How much did they steal from you? Nothing. I didn't have anything on me. Shit, dude. I got stolen at least $131 and a bunch of food like on me. No, I carry cash like that, so if a doctor has to come and heal me, I can at least pay them. Yeah, but they, they get paid anyway. Yeah, I understand. It's just rather not be in debt, you know? Yeah. Um... Now what? I don't feel safe running the train without at least, like, maybe Max or maybe Tobias. Yeah. So, now what? Did the- okay, so the other guy got shot. I want those four doctors to come back, but I assume that they have something to do with the call- Man, how perfectly timed was it that there was no sheriffs at the time that the train got jumped? I don't think there were sheriffs at all today. Really? Yeah, I didn't see any. What are they on? Are they all on holiday? I don't know. I think at most there was Ella on. Oh, shit. Oh, well, now what? <laughs> I mean, the train's still here. Yeah, thank God for that. I saw some guy get in the cab try to steal it. Like just now? No, no. Uh, the guy in the red bandana. I thought he could steal it, but uh, I told him that uh, I told him off. What are you trying? Yeah. Who are you pointing at? This trigger finger. I don't see that chicken. No trigger finger. Oh, trigger finger. Dude, they took all my. I had like twelve Mexican tacos. And they took them all. I mean, they're good tacos. Yeah, I know, but I had 12 of them. That's the guy that tried to Oh, Ooh. there's a big one. Uh-oh. You, oh, okay? you guys all okay? Did you guys find my friend? Yeah, this is the security guard. No. So did you guys find my friend? He was out there. Uh, I think he's the one who called. I'm Miles. Yeah. Miles? Yeah, I was on the train and my friend, or not friend, but like I kind of just- What's your last kinda, name? Uh, Kingsman. I got a brother who's oh my like. God. No, I got like a brother who's like this really big guy. Do you do you have a green coat? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. I got this outfit and then my blue outfit. Mm. Green coat by the I one got... that like Tobias always wears. Uh, I got no, a long green coat. No. I got no, like a, a dark olive green coat. No, nope. there's this guy that I know. He has Kingsman last name too. He has Ooh. the green coat. Mm. I think he went up to the Grizzlies. Anyway, I'm gonna go get my money from the bank. I've never heard of a Miles Kingsman, but I've heard of a Milo Kingsman. That's yeah, a little a... fucking shit stirred. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, a I'm, thug. I'm kind of new around here. We're not really uh, new, but John. like. Yeah. You wanna hop on my my Porsche for a second? Yeah. All right. Well, we uh, didn't see your friend out there. But... That guy, I'm pretty sure, is a notorious person for robbing people. Joe or Miles? Miles? 
Yeah. How did you know? Did he tell it's, you his name was uh, I think maybe that was another guy. I don't know. We have so many people in security at this point. I, I can't even keep up with uh, all the names. You need to like start asking for IDs uh, if somebody's going to be security. Like they have to flash sure their actually, ID card. Yeah, make doom think slash ID card. All right. Um. That, that guy is a shit star and he has robbed a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So the Milo guy robbed a lot of people and. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He said. The one that you were just talking Milo. to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, so he's probably uh, mailing his friends the same way the train was. Oh, shit. Okay. You know, giving information to the criminals and helping hmm. them that way because he goes around with somebody else that they robbed together. Two or three of them. Well, three of them would be correct since there was one guy that we had at St. Denise. We had some guy like hop on the back of the caboose, drop off somebody sleeping there. Then uh, they were, you know, not being Oh, so educated. somebody got on in Vale and was sleeping the whole way? No, no. Somebody got on in uh, St. Denise. Uh, oh. We saw them as a stowaway. They did shoot something before they dropped somebody. Somebody was asleep on the top of the caboose. We went, we got him, and we put him in the front car because we thought that he needed to go to Valentine or something since he was just left asleep on the top of the caboose. Mm. And uh, his friend was the one that dropped him off. Uh, is there like an investigation going on? Because oh. didn't that guy say that there was like a name? Didn't he say like remember this name? Wait, what was it? Was it oh, like it was Lamar. 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 Wasn't there another one? Because the other one was just Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Apparently, yeah. That's what he said his name was, or your passenger? Uh, one of, no, 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 the, uh, the thieves. Uh, yeah. one of them said, said, remember the name Lamar, and I think the other one jokingly said, um, Joe Biden. What do you mean, jokingly? Who's jo Joe Biden? I don't know, the, the, the one with the yellow mask, and the goggles, the black ones. How long has this man done security for you? A while now, actually. Oh, you might want to ask him his ID card. Alrighty then. What do you say your name is, sir? Huh? Sorry, what do you what? say your name is? Uh, what's it called? Miles. Yeah. Can you, uh, could you show me your ID card? Yeah. Think about slash ID card. Milo Kingsman. Yep. Yeah, he just fucking ran. His name is Milo. He, yeah, I wouldn't have him as security. He will rob your ass. Hey, man, his buddy. And he there is. He yep, he there he goes. Uh, he fell. Like, fucking he, ate shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. So he, that's uh, Milo Cage. He, he tried yeah. robbing my cousin the other day. Okay, oh. so he brought his gang over to my train. Uh, the guy that. My passenger, he got murdered. I don't know if you guys ever found him, but he, we think that he got murdered. Are you sure he wasn't part of it? I don't think the passenger is part of it. I really don't think so. But maybe he was lying because I never saw the passenger again. Uh, Milo said that... Um, Milo said that uh, he heard gunshots as he escaped in quotation marks. Mm -hmm. He said that he escaped and... Uh, so when you he didn't was see him? No, I didn't. And for some reason, they mysteriously decided to leave uh, me and not the passenger. Are and you shouting? Are you shouting? I don't think so. Be on normal voice. Oh, I am. Because I think we're about to get hit. Yeah. Yeah, get, get your shit out. So... Milo and some other person are up behind. Yeah, you. so Milo... Yeah, he just jumped. The other guy didn't say... Uh, they stole a bunch of things. They they looked like they robbed um, something from them, but I didn't see. I need to run to the stables it. really fast. I didn't see anything from them, but um, uh, Pablo and Dave, if you have rifles, you can get them out right now if you like. Who out? You have permission to have your long arms on your back. Oh, okay. What? If you have a rifle, get it. Keep it, like, bring it out. 
Yeah, I've been keeping all my shit on my fucking horse because those shitlords going around robbing everybody. I don't trust. I have a fucking oh, elephant. Good as all my shits on my horse. I've like, got. I, a... I used to run around with like five, uh, six weapons up. And I'm two. on the hill behind me. See the horse going? There's two, three. Okay, if you see a red bandana, a yellow bandana, and yeah. Milo, Come that's them. I don't see. Should we, uh... Who is that other person that just rode by and went back behind the stables with, uh, Milo? Or behind the church with Milo? Uh, two other people. No Was idea that two other is. people? Yeah, I think the two guys that robbed the train. Yeah, you said there was three people on the train. No, no, Milo, the, right? two, the two guys came and robbed it. They yeah, had a yeah. Guys yeah, one guy had a like. That means the three, three people have went behind the church. It's probably yep. them three. Yeah, it's probably them three. It's about the snake people. I know. I, I don't yeah. think they're the type of person to uh, shoot at with no interaction because they're just shit lords. They won't, you know, they won't get an express ticket. They just look core shit. So I don't think they're just gonna shoot at us. I think they will. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mm, if... Oh, shit, I put my express ammo. Jesus. You know what? <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, oh exactly. God, the log barrel is like right up there. That hurts like, more than a How about you have some of this? <laughs> I love doing this to people. You're fucking dickhead. <laughs> hey, guys, okay. <laughs> okay, easy. <laughs> we don't need anybody forgetting what they just what they just heard or what they saw. And so. the tobacco, by the way. You oh, have a... Uh, I do not have any. Oh, I have some cigars, cigars, but you need Indian tobacco. So we still haven't figured yeah, out. So somebody Indian is supposed apparently dead, but nobody knows where that is. It doesn't seem too. So should we just have that, that now instead? Yeah, oh. let's just have that now. Ready? I'm sorry. Can you give you, me on the other a, side uh, of the street, please? <laughs> What's the description of the robbers? Like, what were they wearing? Uh, so I know you said had, mask, but you're very so yellow mask. Uh, like complete want... yellow mask. Uh, Close. black Forget yellow goggles. The mask. Um, the you're never gonna identify them. I mean, the like full okay. black outfits. Uh, mostly that, all. Like of... Yeah, no, 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 hold up. All of them had like full black, mostly. Maybe like the shoes were a different color, but they tried to blend in with the night since they only attacked the trade during the nighttime. What, did they have a yellow necktie or a mask? No, no, like complete mask. And then the other guy oh. had a bandana from his nose down further. We could see his eyes. What but... color was the ba bandana? Uh, red. All right, red necktie then. Yeah. So red, red bandana covering from the nose under, and a like complete yellow uh mask for the other guy. They're pretty yeah, distinguishable yeah. just by that alone. Right. And you guys know about my low looks like already. Yeah, he has that burgundy outfit. He also wears green. Um, if you look at his face as well, he's got a bit of a mustache. He's got a. Well, yeah, he's got one of those mustaches that curls on the end. Darker blonde hair. Mm -hmm. uh, tan skin. Alrighty, well. Uh, where did you see that you saw them again? On the hill behind you? Up there. Oh. On the hill. You see him? Yeah. No, but I haven't heard their horses and all that. So I don't think they've left. The train stole the station, so they haven't stolen that. If I was you, uh, I would... I would no, go somewhere safe or just stay with the group. Okay. I'm they probably just going to stay with the group because I want my fucking payback. Yeah, they stole at least honest. 140 bucks from me. He fears no one. Church? Uh, no, they left. Okay. Good. They could be waiting at your train, John. Just be, be careful when you go there. I have a fix for that. Oh. Um, there it is. Nope, the time. I think I suit this hat. Uh, is that kitty down at the bottom? Mm hmm. Can't see their face from here. Oh, who's behind us? Yeah, that's Kitty Bannon. One of the other leads 
doctor. Should we uh let her know what's going on? Oh, it is her. Oh, she's coming over. Yeah. Oh, she's coming over. It is her. Yeah, hopefully she comes over. We can tell her what's going on. So, um, when you guys have security, uh, are they uh, put on any kind of official employee roster anywhere that you can check? Yeah, we do actually. Uh, we have them so uh, all that... together on a uh, what is it called? We have them all together on like so a, a mail kidding. group. We send out like announcements and like a notices, and we'll put notices on the board of who works and who doesn't. So, do you see anybody there by the name of Miles Kings of Kingsman there? No, I don't think so because I think I kind of just registered him in my head as Joey, since his the voices sound exactly the same. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. Voices can sound very, very similar between several people. Uh, you need to get into the habit of somebody who comes up and says they claim their security. Uh, go ahead, get their ID, and check the roster. If you're not 100% sure, you should always double check that. Make sure they're actually still employed, and make sure that their name is on the roster. So you're saying there's a Miles Kingsman who said he was security and is not on the roster. No, he's... I don't think he's on the roster. Since I don't you see his checker? full name on the roster. So no, I do not it? think that he's on the roster. Since I completely thought that it was somebody else. Okay, so you got someone who... Did he tell you the name was Joey, or did you think it was Joey? I think at the start he told me it was Joey, and then he didn't say much on his name. So I think he covered it up with Joey. Okay. If you ever get anybody who comes up with security, and they aren't immediately forthright with their name, you should suspect them. All right. I would and just I check ID until you know who they yeah. are. Like, until their you ID, get to know them. Until you verify they're actually working. If you don't know them, for sure, for what percent for sure, you should be checking their IDs and checking the roster to make sure they're actually there. And if something is fishy, probably alert the police. All right. Too bad there was none on when they actually did the robbery. Now, that was nicely timed, wasn't it? Well, I mean, they're not always going to be out. What you need to do when a robbery happens is you need to, you know, have all these details. Like, if you need to get a notebook out and write these details down, you need to do that. Uh, and then, uh, when the sheriff comes out, you report things to the sheriff, you give them all the details, and they'll start an investigation. But I think, because you've got a couple things. You've got some descriptions of who they are, but I think your primary suspect here is this Miles Kling Kingsman, because you should probably double check uh, if he's not actually on the roster, but he said he was. Uh, and not only that, he wrote off pretty quickly once uh, things said over the investigation. I would, uh, I would turn all this information over to the law so that you can and see where things go from there. Things all right. Aren't always resolve instantly but i'm sending many a, times uh yeah i'm sorry i'm sending a bird to my boss to see if we can probably get them uh maybe not on a blacklist but on a like strict watch list yeah, for the railroad I mean, you guys can handle that with whatever but like i've seen many times where sometimes it's even like a week later uh some criminal screws up and uh weapons get returned to people hmm so, uh, or sometimes, you know, they go do an investigation, they ask around, they find out who it is, they you know, boundaries going up, questioning, and all kinds of stuff like that. And, uh, I mean, uh, this, this guy, he's got a, probably got a criminal record anyway, he's robbed a lot of people, so it could um, be the, the extra piece just to fix any, somebody else's puzzle. His buddy likes to get on the bank roof and shoot at law. Um... I've, we've had passengers, like, refuse to show their ID. Like, uh, I, not passengers, them. sorry. Uh, I think we've had security members sometimes not want to do it, or maybe that was a passenger once since he was suspected yeah, of being the go. blacklisted <laughs> member. Get, get off the train. Yeah, yeah and then he doesn't get the on train. the train. He's suspected. We had somebody uh, named, I think, Chuck Finley. He stole the train the other, other day. Uh... Trespassing, stealing. Uh, I think he yeah, was put in jail that after that. that. Was fucking, something was, like, seriously wrong with that dude's head. Yeah, no, no kidding. Like, big time wrong with that dude's head. Yeah. It's a, I've never seen anybody so obsessed with something 
you know, just constantly. I, I wasn't even responding to the calls. What was he obsessed with? Talk about it. The train. He was constantly oh, yeah. setting off the uh, train robbery down at Santa Day. He oh, was I had constantly it. hanging around the train. He was like, he got. I, I remember, it, if I'm not mistaken, you guys had him trespassed from the train. And then he still. What, Chuck Finley? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He's no longer and, allowed on the railroad at all. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that guy was. I've never. Like, it was constant. Like, that's all that. Like, he being county, and that's the only thing he would do the entire time was something with the train. Constantly. Never anything else. People are like that, though. You get some shitheads that just. He's obsessed. Like, just fuck about in Valentine for no reason. Like, nobody speaks to them. They're just on their own, just fucking about. Yeah. For hours. I mean, I've seen people like things before, but this was just unhealthy. Like, he was getting arrested. He was killing like, just everything. Just it was bordering on obsession. Oh, it was. I think I'd say it's past bordering. It was full on. I was being nice. Yeah. Like, I know that I don't go off duty for railroading much at all because I like driving them. Been my life's dream, but uh, that's taking it a step further than I would consider myself insane. Yeah, I mean, all he had to do was just get a job as a train conductor and ride it around if that's what he wanted, but I don't know. It was just weird. Yeah, I understand. Really, really weird. Like, especially with the train robberies. He would, he would set off a train robbery and say, he would die, get picked up, and then immediately set the train robbery off again. It was just, he just, it was weird. But if he set it off, wouldn't that notify the, the sheriff? Yeah, the sheriff would all go down there, and then he'd be laying there dead. He'd have to get picked up, and then, like, they would leave, and then he would immediately set the train robbery off. Why? Wow, what? Oh, okay. Is there not and a time limit on it? Time over time over time. I don't think so, but he just kept doing it. Well, shit. So, yeah. But like I said, when something like this happens, when a robbery happens, there's not a sheriff on it. Um, just take all the details you can. If you got a little notebook, write them down. You get back in, tell the law, and let them, you know, give them a written statement if you need to. You know, tell them everything you remember. Uh, and then, uh, they, you never know, like things like little things like that, like how many people there were, who was in there. You saw them I could probably recall like later today, like, like if you like think about it hard enough, you'll just be like, oh, it's that. that. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, but I mean. So I could probably give like a full description maybe later, but I don't know. Welcome. Only if my head uh, likes to remember it, but. Yeah, I mean, he just. Yeah. Basically made himself guilty after he just gave me the ID and ran off. It was Milo, right? Milo. Milo, Kingsley. yeah. Yeah, he's given wrong name. So, uh, yeah. I would start with Eric, because we still have it. Because there's not only that, there's a doctor's call, and there was no body found. And, and one of them was the concerned. one? Yeah, he, um. Baiting somebody. Actually, that pretty much was baiting. He was hoping that a doctor was going to go by himself. But oh, yeah, that guy um, in the Heartland. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, the, yeah. that was Milo. And he would have had enough time to message somebody say, "Get out of there, there's more folk," you know, or yep. whatever, and I had to leave. That's why we didn't find anybody. Yep. 